Tonight's opening begins with Java the Stout from Black Wheat Brewing in Brandon, Manitoba. It says here it's a mocha sweet stout. They describe it as a creamy sweet stout with rich cold brew coffee character and a chocolate notes from the malt. They don't actually say that there's coffee in it, but just coffee flavors. Hmm. wonder if this is going to keep me up all night or at least long enough to edit this video. Mm, smells a little coffee-ish, but it doesn't really taste that much. Still a nice beer. First thing in in the mail is gyro fabrication kit. Fabrication kit makes me happy because I'm planning on doing some kit builds through December. Oh, we have the distinctive shape of a fidget spinner. Not sure if fidget spinner is all that interesting, but components definitely are. A little molded case there, battery holder, and looks like a bearing in there. And then a bunch of surface mount components. Hmm. So on one side of the board, we have three little battery pads uh, for a CR1620, which I'm going to have to get because I don't have any of those here. And we have one switch down there. And then on the other side, we have some sort of a chip over there with a resistor and capacitor. Up here we have 11 resistors. And over here we have 11 diodes, so I'm assuming LEDs, which means that this thing is going to do some sort of a persistence of vision display on it, I am guessing. I'm trying to read the part number of the chip without taking it out of the bag, but I can't read it from uh, through all the plastic. So we'll just have to be as surprised as you guys are when uh, when I come to building this thing during my December O kit builds. DIY electronic kit, LED gyro manufacture kit welding, alleviate fatigue glue. Okay, I'm not sure whether a fidget spinner would alleviate the fatigue of being in the loo, but whatever. Package includes wood fidget spinner making kit. Sure. Oh, wow. Look at all those patterns. It is indeed doing some persistence of vision kind of stuff. Nifty. Uh, but it doesn't say what the MCU is, just that it has, in fact, an MCU. So this should be fun to put together. I mean, as much fun as any surface mount soldering is. Next in, we have Lamp 50 LED Multicolor. Hmm. Okay. What kind of lamp is this? Ah, it's just a string of LEDs. Just a little string of LEDs. Although these are the tiny little ones. So they're good for putting in um, you know, Christmas decorations. Uh, my wife's got a miniature Christmas tree that we like to put uh, some decorations on. Or I put these into... Like Christmas wreaths and things like that. So it's a good time for it to show up. And it's a few meters. Let's see what it looks like lit up. Okay, so... Looks like three or four colors of LEDs per. We have blue. Uh, it looks like red. That looks like green, which means that's maybe a white or something. I don't know. Anybody who's been around here for a while knows that I'm colorblind, but I'm thinking that there's four different colors on here. I just can't tell you exactly what they are, but I'm sure somebody in the comments will uh, help me out on that. And it's only using about just shy of 100 milliamps, so that's not too bad either. It'll run for a while on a battery bank. 5 meter 50 LED USB fairy light multicolor copper wire string strip party garland decor. I got this at auction for a whole 92 cents Canadian or 67 cents American, which is half or less of the price that I could get it locally at any of the dollar stores, the so-called dollar stores that don't actually sell anything for a dollar anymore. So size five meters, multicolor, material copper, sure, somewhere between 50 and 100 LEDs. Uh, they claim it's IP65 rated. Yeah, I don't know about that. Five volts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Next thing in is something that was sent to my P.O. box. So something from an anonymous donor. It says that it's a female connector front insert borderless. Don't know what that means. If it's even you know, vaguely accurate. So this guy, he's, he's not completely anonymous, but he wants me to uh, protect his identity. And I'm happy to do that. Uh, 
but he tells me that he's been doing the same thing that I do is bidding on super cheap uh, eBay auctions and then having them shipped to me. So let's see what this thing is. This is a bunch of PCB mount USB connectors. Hmm. I don't think I have any of these. Yeah, so it's USB A and then we have some right angle pins that go into PCB. And are those in fact proper spacing for perf board? They are. Oh, that is excellent and highly useful. Thank you, sir. Okay, so here's a search that finds them, and I'll put this uh, search down below in case you're looking for these things. But it looks like at regular prices, non-auction, they go for about ten fifty-seven Canadian for 10 of them, plus shipping. But of course, if you can find them on auction, then you'll get them a lot, a lot cheaper. Moving right along, we have Tobacco Bottle. Um... No tobacco happening around here. Oh, okay. These are just little squeezy dispenser bottles. Good for alcohol or oil or any number of things like that. But I think what I'm going to do with these ones, at least with one of them, is to use it along with this rosin that I got here and some alcohol and try and make my own flux. I know I said I was going to do that a long time ago when I... When I got this rosin in a mailbag months and months ago. But uh, then I ordered these things and then took forever for them to get here. So now I think I've got what I need for that little experiment, which I'll probably push until January now, because as I said earlier, I'm going to do kit builds for most of the videos in December. So uh, yeah, that's a thing that'll happen. Five pieces, 30 milliliter plastic DIY paper quilling glue applicator needle squeeze bottle. Okay. Uh, anyway, I paid $3.25 Canadian with 39 cents shipping for these five. I can't imagine there's much to be said about them down here. New, can be cleaned for reuse. Bottle with needle cap and silicone ring. Sure. And the last thing in... As a tradition, it's the largest and or heaviest package I've got. This thing says connector, and it appears to have been through um, a minor war or something on the way here. Don't know what kind of connectors did I order. More red and black female panel mount type, uh, what do you call these? Uh, banana jacks, I guess, or binding posts. I've seen them called different things over the years. But basically, you can put your test leads into these or any other plug you want, and or you can uh, clamp a wire underneath there. The better ones have a hole through there, so you can actually jam the wire through and then slam this down onto it. These aren't those. These are the cheaper ones. So you just have to wrap a wire around it and then squeeze it down when you're using it. But... These are good for power supplies. Um, they're often used as speaker terminals. Um, just general outputs to things. And that's what I've done in a few different projects around here. Like this power supply remote control for the, uh, for the one power supply. That's a buck boost supply that I've got off to the side. And I use it sometimes. Or this power supply that I built a while ago. This is a linear power supply. Plus and minus 5 volt uh, supply. So, you know, as I use these things, I just... Pick up more as I see them cheap and on sale. 10 pieces speaker terminal binding post for 4 millimeter banana plug socket female connector. I paid a whopping $1.88 for these 10. Ah, at auction. That's probably the more uh, reasonable reason that I picked them up. Because uh, I do have some in stock. But as I said, you use these things. Uh, so might as well just maintain a stock. Especially for, you know, 18 cents each. How can you go wrong? What do we got down here? Copper, nickel plated. Yeah, black and red, banana, female. Ten pieces, five red, five black. They are 34 millimeters long. And there is the contents of today's Mailbag Monday haul. Quite the variety as usual. And a good surprise. I did not, well, of course I did not expect these USB connectors. But uh, those are going to be handy, I think. And that adds another style that I don't have in my collection. So thank you, semi-anonymous donor. 
Uh, also, the binding posts, as I said, they're just good for stock. Uh, they were cheap, and I tend to use them in projects. These lights. Uh, so, basically, they are just a surface mount LED underneath a little blob of clear epoxy. So, they're, you know, fiddly to make, but you could probably make them for yourself. But not for less than a dollar, which is what I paid for these ones. So, even just as a supply of LEDs, it's cheap, but... As I said, I think I can add them to my wife's Christmas decorations. So that's handy to have. This fidget spinner kit. I have no interest in fidget spinners, but I do like kits. I'm planning on building a bunch of them in December. And I'm always fascinated by POV displays, which apparently that's what that is. So that should be good. And then there's these little dispensing bottles. Again, um, that'll uh, kickstart my experiments with homemade uh, flux and I'll probably also use them to replace some of my other dispenser bottles. This is a little vitamin bottle from when the kids are, were little um, that I'm using as an eyedropper bottle, but it'd be nice to have something, something else that's not just an eyedropper or something with a fine dispenser tip on it. So that will be good to have too. And I got five of those. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I always appreciate that. A special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube channel members who help me pay for this stuff and help keep the beer fridge full. I do appreciate that. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Oh, right. Uh, thanks to my, uh, to my donor who uh, has been sending me some interesting things lately. I appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, questions. I already said that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.